and welcome to our very first YouTube video ever. Zach talked me into doing this because when we were searching for a new coffee machine, we read all the reviews, watched all the videos, like for weeks, researched so many different types of coffee espresso machines, and we just could not find a video that was an all-in-one everything that we were looking for. So we hope if you're looking for a coffee maker, this re review will do that for you. So we're gonna do two parts. We're going to first talk about just the machine um, and some basics, and then we're gonna make an actual cup of coffee, show you how we do it, and that's it. Okay, let's start with, what do we start with? So we'll start with just what it comes with, kind of like easy setup. So um, the machine comes with everything you need to just get started. The, one of the big important things that we didn't know is the water quality to be able to get a good cup of coffee. So it comes with this water test strip to measure how hard your water is. Make sure you do that. Yeah, because we were going to use, we've always just used our reverse osmosis water that we use for drinking every day. Um, but we've learned that that water actually makes a horrible cup of coffee. Which so, is weird because you would yeah. think reverse osmosis is would make the best cup. Yeah but the natural minerals in tap water bring out the coffee flavor. So what we ended up doing was we did our test strip and then depending on how hard your water is, we ended up mixing half reverse osmosis and half tap water. Yeah, so. our water's brutally, brutally hard. So, and we did also, when we were looking, we were trying to find a unit that came with a filter, an option for a filter for the water because I knew that our water was so hard. So this one does come with the water filter and you do need to change it out every three months. So um, we haven't gotten to that step yet, but we are gonna have to change it. We that. are one week into using this coffee machine. And so it comes with all of your basics, instructions. There's like a summed up user guide, but I will be honest, like for days we were like, water was squirting out. We were, <laughs> we were really trying to, trying figure, to figure out, out. the machine. So, and the instructions are complicated. Like figuring out a new coffee machine can feel like rocket science. So after a weekend, we finally got it down and after you just start using it, everything will make more sense. Um, but overall it is pretty basic. So the power button is right here on top. One thing I do wanna mention that I love about this machine is I think it's pretty for a coffee machine. We got it in the white um, color, and but it's also just like compact compared to a lot of coffee machines. It's much smaller, so it fits under our cabinets fine. Another feature that I love is the water tank. Is removable. From the front. Yeah, from the front. So that is huge, because so many, you have to get it from the top or somewhere else, which means you have to move your coffee machine every time you want to refill it. And we refill the coffee, the water like. Almost every day, we drink a lot, a lot of coffee. So, so the fact that it's here is huge. And then on the side, there, it is clear so you could see how much water yeah, the level of it. is left, but it tells you when you need it. Yeah, so. when it gets down super low, there'll be an indicator light that comes on. Again, same thing with cleaning it, super easy. This comes out, the pucks that are left over from the coffee are right there. Um, this tray does catch any water that spills. Super easy to clean, yeah, you just, just pop, the thing pop it off. And again, it will tell you if it needs to be cleaned. Yeah. So it's really nice in that way that it tells you if something needs to be done. Um, and then up top, this is where you put the beans in. The beans go right here. You just dump them in. I don't remember how much it exactly yeah. holds. The other thing is your your grinder is right here. Um, so you can manually turn that depending on... That was spilled. Sorry, I spilled. <laughs> depending on how you want yours grinded. We have it on Three five. Point, I think three... Oh yeah, she has it on five right now. So anyway, fill it close. with beans. There is a little thing here for you to put in pre-ground... Um, beans as well. We haven't used that and I don't think we will use that because we like how it grinds the beans fresh. So um, the other thing is when you're before one big thing that we learned from the reviews are hilarious by the way if you look around but you want it you before you ever turn the machine on you have to put a cup here because when it warms the water up it does just randomly put out a couple ounces of water every single time before yeah. it's ready to do its cycle. I don't know if that's some sort of a flush that it does, but keep uh, one here that you can then dump the water out before the brewing cycle, so. Same with the steamer. Like, it took me a minute to figure out how to make it steam versus get hot water. This is sprayed water at me multiple times. So another cool thing is this moves up and down um, depending on your, your glass. The biggest reason why we went with this machine, hi, we haven't even mentioned the machine. It's the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Delonghi? 
<laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Dynamica. It's yeah. the Dynamica. But the reason why there was the Magnifica, Magnificent, the other model. One of them. Yeah. Um, I heard similar reviews, makes a great cup of coffee, but this one you can do drip coffee, iced coffee, or espresso. So that for us was the ultimate reason why we chose this. I'm a huge iced coffee drinker in the iced coffee drinker in the summer. Um, and Whereas then, I like hot coffee year round. Yes. So. And then it's nice if I've made a strong espresso latte that I can just have a more mild drip coffee like later in the day. So that is a really cool feature about this machine. So that's why this goes up and down depending on your size of cup that you're using. So I like it that I do protein shakes with my coffee. So I can put my shaker under there that I use for the blender, does it in, and then when she does her cup, she can do it down so it doesn't spill everywhere. Okay, so um, really easy to use. Should we just jump into making yeah, cup coffee? Yeah. I feel like that's gonna probably teach yeah, you the most. I'm yeah. trying to think of any other features that we might have missed. So just push this button. Start cycle's really fast. It heats the water, does everything. First thing I do when I wake up like a zombie is walk out and push the button and then it's ready to go. Maybe like 45 seconds here will be ready to brew a cup, so. And this is the water that's... Yeah, so here's the water of why you want that cup there. As you can tell, you know, it's putting out a few ounces. Like I said, it must be some sort of a flush cycle, which I'm sure it's in the instructions, but we're the king of not reading through. Yeah, we're like, instructions. these instruction manuals yeah. are insane. Let's just figure so it out. So that's it, that's gonna do. So then we'll just dump that guy out. Okay, so once it's all lit up, let's bring you in a little bit closer. So this one here, you, it's really easy. Essentially, this little bean button, you can pick the strength of what you wanna make, one through five. So we usually go with a four, especially if it's that morning. This is gonna be a single shot of espresso. This is gonna be a double shot of espresso. And then you can hit this two if you want it to make two of your selection. I have not done the over the ice yet. And then this one is your drip coffee. Um, and then we can mess with the steam later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, reset my strength because it disappeared and I'm gonna do a double and I'm gonna do I'm only gonna do one of them actually I just like the speed of the machine it is really the fast this is the beans that we're using the manual did say they, they suggested a medium roast so we this is the only one we've used and it tastes really good. We like the taste of it. And here it comes. <laughs> we brew it in our coffee mugs just so we're not wasting dishes or less having to clean less dishes. You can also just do like a shot glass, but we just kind of do an all in one in the cup and then I'll froth the milk I got this separately, it didn't come with it, but it's like a milk frother pitcher. Okay. This little flashing button tells you if it's heating. Um, if you wanna steam, this little button in the bottom corner is your steamer, so you push that. For the frother, right? Yeah, the frother. And then it will um, flash, saying that it's heating, so you wait for that to be done. Once it's done flashing, I, the overall process really is like, it's fast. It's a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's really fast. And she bought these little uh, shot glasses, the brand of the coffee that you can do it just like your little barista. But we haven't even used these yet. So we're like, why would think, we want to uh, wash more dishes? I don't think you really need them. All right. So once the, the heating button stops flashing and your steam button is flashing, flashing, you turn this little nozzle here to on. I'm using oat milk, but you can use whatever milk you want. And you just, okay, I'm gonna call the mess. <laughs> Usually I have the milk in before. Um, yeah, I would suggest when you do it, pour the milk and then put it in and then put it down and it won't make a mess at all. Will you pour a little bit more milk in for me? Yeah. That container was empty. You do have to hold it here. Um, you'll know when the steam cycle is done. And so sometimes I'll put like an upside down cup to hold it and then I don't have to hold it, but 
you're supposed to, depending on what you want, you can move it up and down. If this, if the frother is more on the top, it will give you more of a like foam. Okay, it automatically stopped. It's flashing again, and then now you can turn this off. And then I usually just grab a paper towel. We have a paper towel. Yeah. And this just comes off. I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna dump my milk into my espresso. You can see all that foam that it made. How I wash this, this is really easy. Just cause it's hot, I grab a paper towel. This just comes off and then I rinse it in water and then I'll usually get the paper towel and wipe that off and it's really easy. It just goes back on. So the frother is really easy to clean, which is nice. And then for the actual coffee, We've been playing with flavors, but I use the Sugar Free by Jordan Skinny Syrups. It's really good. I just add like a splash of that. And then I do some pumpkin spice, cause why not? And then, you know what I mean? Like, I mix it and roula, there you go. It's Best home cup of coffee we've ever had. So it's a, it was kind of a shock to spend this much on a coffee maker, I guess espresso machine, most money we've ever spent on a machine. But at the end of the day, Every time we would go hit up the local coffee shop, it was like $14 a day. So it really pays does. itself back really fast and it's really good coffee. It tastes as good as a coffee shop coffee. Yeah, like it, it really does. When we tried it for the first time, the best way to describe it, it's smooth. Like it doesn't taste like a burnt coffee. It's really good. So yes. ultimately we are so, so happy with it. It's really nice just to be at home and be able to make our cup of coffee and as many as we need throughout the day. So we definitely highly suggest it. And again, like I said, the other the other model that's like one under it, the Magnifica, um, I have heard great things about that and ultimately have heard that that makes a really good cup of coffee too. So there you go. DeLonghi, Dynamica, we love it. Good luck. <laughs>